Feel like we're just getting to know each other, you know. Yeah. It's, it's kind of interesting how you can go through a whole process like this, you know. From me discovering Dedar with Katarina uh, a couple of years ago, a few years ago, I feel like it's ages ago, but but um, you know, for the first time I'm seeing your textiles to the first time I'm getting a sense of okay, where is this coming from, and then you know, who are these people, and what are they thinking about, and why are they making these things. And, and uh, and so and then and then also trying to understand what I could do with it. I think there's a big difference between a designer and a decorator, you know. And and I'm not necessarily a decorator. So for me, when I see these things, I'm a, I'm a, you know unintentionally or immediately reinventing them. You know, I'm cutting them up in my mind. I'm trying to kind of piece them together into some, you know, something that makes sense for me. I'm trying to kind of reconcile all of these different patterns and all of that whole room full of fabric. It's like, wow. Yeah. So I guess I gravitated toward that little box of trims because it was something that I could get my head around very easily, you know? It's something that, that made sense to me in one way because I could see the pattern language there and this continuous, it's more like a product, right? Mm -hmm. I could see this continuous it's a, it's ribbon. A rope. Yeah, it's like a spool of thread, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. we, we may not understand where the thread ends up, but we understand the thread, you know? So mm -hmm. that's kind of how I started, and that's what made sense to me, you know? So those initial sketches of just like the abstraction of the, the thread and stuff. One thing that I find very interesting is the way you added um, the zip mm. in those flashy colors. colors. Mm. Because col the Dedar is known for his color range, adding your, this kind your, of uh, 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 flashy color to me was a really uh, a wonderful idea. Well, I have to say I was inspired by um, this, this, I don't even know what to call this. What the, is that the, stuff called? The small fringes. Yeah, fringes, yeah. inspired by the fringe and, and how bright, you know, these little colors mm -hmm. are. And, and how they, they add this, like, touch of flash, you know, mm -hmm. that just brings you yeah, in. Yeah, because it's more shiny. Yeah, it's more... It, just, it just draws you in. And, and you feel like, I mean, for me, there's something regal about it, you know. There's something kind of... Aspirational about that little bit of that little bit of fringe there on the bottom. Yeah, that that brightens the whole range, brightens the whole stripe, mm -hmm. and so you know, for, I I felt like that the zipper, this little mechanical detail, this mm -hmm. little kind of product mm -hmm. detail, mm -hmm. had to also compete with that. You pushed it uh, to an extent that we would not have been capable to push it, but it is exactly how we imagined the Trims collection when we, when we huh. introduced it. We thought, we called it Baba, because we thought mm, it must be something that gives you uh, the, the will to taste it, because Baba yeah. is sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Absolutely. so the idea is, I want to try this thing. Yeah. And, uh, and you tried it so freely, so in a, <laughs> such an exciting uh, way with the free association that, uh, you know, we feel, oh, this is it. Yeah. <laughs>